Congress returns. Uh, I don't think there's any doubt John Boehner will be reelected speaker. Mitch McConnell will become majority leader in the Senate. But Boehner does face a challenge from a couple of Tea Party grassroots conservative guys who say that he's been too compromising. He hasn't fought with the president enough. Let's look right here. Louis Gohmert from Texas, Tea Party guy. He says he's going to run for speaker. Ted Yoho, a conservative from Florida, says he's going to run for speaker. Uh, Gohmert was on uh, Fox News yesterday explaining. He says, look, he's just had enough of John Boehner. Listen. You deceived us when you went to to Obama and Pelosi to get your votes for the Cromnibus. You said you'd fight amnesty tooth and nail. You didn't. You funded it. And then you took the only hostage that Obama would like for us to shoot. It was a terrible strategy, and it follows a, a, a number of years of broken promises. It's time for a change. It's a Andy Warhol moment, maybe, for Louis Gohmert and the other challenges. But do they have a chance? What are we expecting? Eight, maybe a dozen votes against John Boehner? Precisely. I mean, it's a high bar. It's like 28 or 29 that they're going to need in order to force a second ballot. Neither of these, uh, Yoho or Gohmert, have like a natural constituency or anything of people who are going to line up behind them. So this is mainly to prove a point and, frankly, embarrass the speaker. But, but you embarrass the speaker, make him fight uh, Jonathan for this job when he believes, you know, look, I was a guy who led you in the last election. We built on our majority. He thinks this should be unanimous. The question is, they won't knock him off. He'll still be reelected speaker. But does it have an impact as Republicans go forward? Because we've watched, you know, Speaker Boehner have a hard time, you know, hurting the sheep sure. and, and keeping the votes loyal. Yeah, I, look, it's a reminder that, that he's going to have to rely on Democrats for some of these votes. Not for every vote, but for some of these key votes. He's going to have to go over across the aisle to get votes to get stuff done. And that's what he has done in the past two Congresses, and I'm sure it's going to happen this time around. It doesn't seem like, John, that in January of 2015, that there, that there's quite the sort of pulsating energy that would propel somebody like a, a Gomer to shock the world and knock off Boehner. This doesn't feel like the same moment of two years ago, perhaps, where you sort of really had that, that tea party power. Um, you, know, you saw Boehner and McConnell really take hold of their caucuses in the last few months. You know, and in fact, if I could add, sure. they had a vote for Speaker behind closed doors, and Boehner was last year, and they were, he was unanimously elected. All these, most of these people the that party. have come out in yeah, the party, right. yeah. So they had a chance, really, to uh, kind of exert their will, and they didn't because I guess the cameras weren't there. Right. Well, and the guys who are out there now, the cameras weren't there, and the guys who are out there now also know that there is a faction of the conservative base that might send them money uh, if they're publicly out there, you know, sort of pounding their chest there's against John Boehner. So exactly. there's, there's a lot of fundraising uh, to it as well.